hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this video we see how to configure ospf route in uh, 40 gate firewall so first of all you have to go on network and then you have to go here on uh, ospf here this is the router id you can select the router id and then here you can select the area what is the what is your area so here you can select your area so my area ID is 0 so I will select 0 0 0 if my area ID is 1 so I will select 1 uh, area ID is 2 so I will select 2 so my area is 0 and this is the regular and then plain text no authentication required yes I have create an area after that you have to create the network as well so my LAN network is 192.168.1.1 so I will put that network on my area 0 so this is my network 192.168.1.0 and 255.255.255.0 so this is my network so i have add my network so i am advertising my lan network via ospf and then you have to select the interface as here as well so my uh, here you have to add the you can put any name so route 1 route 1 here you select the interface so where from where my uh, this OSP route is coming so here I will select the my LAN port 2 and here is the IP address of LAN 192.168.1.1 is my IP address here you can select the prefix is if required here you put the cost of your routes if required so priority of route you can authentication VFD here you will select the network type of your OSPF either it's broadcast, non-broadcast, point to point, point to multi point and some others. Here you can select the passive interface as well. Some other options MTU value, default MTU. Here you can select the hello interval what is should be the hello timer of your OSPF that timer time so all the function you can set here. So I will select OK. So I have already uh, add that route so here you can also add the summary route and here you can uh, select some other options so these are uh, default options so you can you don't need to set these options so to apply OSPF you have to select your first of all your area and then your network on uh, that OSPF and there you have to select the interfaces from which interfaces these networks are coming that's it this is how you can configure the ospf route and then you have to apply so your ospf route will successfully applied so you have successfully applied your ospf so this is currently is not active so that's why it's disabled if this interface will be active so this will be work so here you can also configure DNS here you can specify your DNS either 8.8.8.8 .8 or some other uh, DNS of uh, your company so here you can also configure the RIP routes either you are using RIP version 1 or RIP version 2 here you will select the networks so i will select the same network 192.168.1.0 and then here you will select any other network so here you will add the interface from which interface that network is coming so this network is coming from my lan port and uh, either authentication enable so this is some other setting so that's it this is how you can uh, configure the passive route some there are some other options like metric value timers timeout and some garbage timer and some other routes re redistributed route from uh, static uh, ospf and some other so this is how you can apply your ospf yes it's giving me error that duplicate route is already exists so previously i have that uh, i add the same route uh, via uh, ospf so that's why it's giving me error so this is how you can add the rip route on your uh, firewall